He is known for defying his headmaster's doubts about his writing abilities and pursuing a successful career as a writer. Recognized for his involvement in politics and his outspoken support for the Red Army during World War II, he made significant contributions as a drama critic and as chairman of the Labor League of Youth. His name is Ted Willis, Baron Willis. In the vibrant borough of Tottenham, Middlesex, a young Ted Willis was born into modest beginnings. His father, Alfred John Henry Willis, started as a bus washer but later became a bus driver, while his mother, Maria Harriet, supported the family as a homemaker. From a young age, Ted had a passion for writing, and he boldly declared his intentions to become a writer to his school headmaster. However, his headmaster dismissed his dreams, claiming that he lacked the imagination and intelligence for such a career. Undeterred, Ted set out to prove him wrong. In 1937, Ted Willis's leadership qualities and political beliefs came to the fore when he was elected chairman of the Labor League of Youth, representing the left-wing faction. Two years later, he joined the Young Communist League, aligning himself with their ideals. During this time, he also served as a drama critic for The Daily Worker, a newspaper associated with the Communist Party. With the outbreak of World War II, Ted Willis enlisted in the Royal Fusiliers in 1939, and later served in the Army Kinematograph Service. He used his platform as a soldier to advocate for opening a second front to support the Red Army, which was facing the brunt of the Nazi onslaught. Ted's unwavering commitment to the cause demonstrated his deep sense of justice and compassion. This is just the beginning of Ted Willis's remarkable journey, filled with challenges and triumphs, as he pursued his passion for writing and fought for his beliefs. His story is a testament to the power of determination and the resilience of the human spirit. Ted Willis, known for his exceptional writing skills, had a remarkable career that left an indelible mark on British television drama. His journey began during the war when he penned plays for the Unity Theatre, showcasing his passion for drama. But it was his creation of the iconic television series Dixon of Doc Green that truly catapulted him to fame. Inspired by the stories of his close friend, Gordon Snashall, a local Chislehurst policeman, the series captivated audiences for over two decades. As chairman of the Writers Guild of Great Britain from 1958 to 1964, Willis played a crucial role in shaping the industry. Alongside Berkeley Mather, he was responsible for a significant portion of scriptwriting for British television drama in the 1950s. In fact, his prolific output earned him a place in the Guinness Book of Records as the world's most prolific television writer. Not only did he create popular series like Virgin of the Secret Service, Hunter's Walk, and The Adventures of Black Beauty, but he also wrote numerous stage plays and feature films, totaling an impressive 34 plays. In the 1970s, Willis ventured into the realm of novels, showcasing his versatility as a writer. His literary endeavors included a gripping spy story titled The Left-Handed Sleeper and a thrilling wartime tale called The Lions of Judah. Willis's ability to captivate audiences across different mediums demonstrated his talent and adaptability as a writer. Ted Willis's legacy as a pioneering figure in British television drama remains unparalleled. His remarkable career spanned plays, television series, feature films, and novels, leaving an indelible impact on the industry. His contributions, both in terms of quality and quantity, continue to inspire and entertain audiences to this day. Do you want to explore more novelists? Who do you want to see featured next? Subscribe and leave a comment below to let me know. I'll see you in the next video.